So I ended up getting the win in the first game of the season, so now I need to start a little bit of a win streak. I got Carlos Carrasco taking the hill. He is following up with Danny Salazar, so two Cleveland Indians are going to be dueling in this one. This guy also has uh, the 97 Goldschmidt too, so I'm guessing he made the World Series unless he bought him. I mean, judge, judging by his what? His template or whatever saying championship series, maybe he didn't make the World Series, maybe he just bought him. Maybe he was able to pull somebody crazy in his uh, CS pack and then just bought the 97 Goldschmidt. But the 97 Goldschmidt, man, like, I haven't really. I, the first guy didn't have him, so I didn't really know what to expect out of him yet because I haven't really used uh, Paul Goldschmidt's I have that much. The live series and the 89 overall Goldschmidt haven't even used in a while. I haven't even used the live series Goldschmidt at all. At all. So I was able to get him to fly out in foul territory to begin this game, so that's all good. Still had Brantley leading off, still had Bautista in the lineup too because I had an all right game from him. I think I think I was one for four, but every single every single plate appearance I had with him other than the first one, I think I made some I made a good swing with Bautista in three at bats. So I mean, leaving him in the lineup unless I just struggle big time, I'm striking out every two seconds with him or something, then I'll probably take him out of the lineup if that's the case. But I remember I had the flashback Bautista in MLB 16. I did all right with him too. I was able to get a lot of home runs with him, I remember. So hopefully that, that can be the same with this Bautista since he does have that 99 power versus righties. So I'm still looking to get the first home run on the board for Bautista. But like I said, this is only the second game. So I can't really get ahead of myself. And yet again, I'm starting off bad. This is exactly what happened in the previous game. I started off folding. I couldn't get anything going early. So this guy's able to cash in a run. And then Troy Tulowitzki is up next. And he's sending one that... He's sending... What the hell am I even saying? He's sending that one fairly deep. I don't even know how he made such co solid contact on that. That was kind of out of the... Maybe it wasn't. It looked like it was going to be out of the strike zone. But either way... He does send that one to center field, so that's a sack fly. He's scoring another run. How do you know this game is still broken? Safe! Well, wait a minute! Safe! I don't, come on! Don't, don't be doing this early in this... Don't be doing this! Do not be doing this early in this game, man. Come, like, what? Safe! Safe, man! Like, what the hell is going on, man? That's just insane. I should have taken the replay of that. And sent that right to SDS, man. Telling that's happened plenty of times too. It, it happens when you throw it in, and somebody changes their mind, goes back to second base, and then you realize they're gonna do that, and you throw it back to second base. How many times that happened to everyone else? They'll clearly be out, and then they'll be called safe. It's almost like the game just bails them out for making a bad decision. So right, th luckily I was able to get out of that inning without that guy scoring that run. How much? How much were that? have sucked if he scored that run from that BS call so Freeman is in yet again he's still in the lineup and he does have that good inside edge at the moment but even, even without his inside edge Freeman is still a beast he's getting the first base hit for the squad in this game on a live on a line drive to left center so Tulewitzki had a big game in the previous uh, in the first game of this season to hit that grand slam and that was pretty much the difference in that game but right there not able to do anything. Line drive to the left fielder. He makes that grab. And I wasn't able to cash in Freeman from first base. So this guy is starting this inning off very well as well. He's sending one to triples alley. But he's not going for three. He's going back to second base. I think that was with Goldschmidt too. So Holiday is back up. And Holiday got the RBI. I think what was an RBI single in the first at bat too. So this was looking like it was nearing the end of the road. <laughs> For Carrasco in this game, man, it was it was bad. Trying to sneak in a low and in fastball on the slide step. Clearly, this guy was sitting on that, able to get the next guy swinging on the changeup. But that was pretty much it for Carrasco. He was coming up in this inning, so I didn't want to. I didn't want this guy to keep going to town against me. So who is this imposter? Who is this guy in the Jonathan Lucroy suit? Because last game he was two for four. He had I think. Was he two for four? I think he had two base hits in the previous game. Was able to get the first hit for the squad in the previous game too. And then this, ga this game he sent in a missile to left center too. So Lucroy is, I don't know. Lucroy is just one of those streaky hitters I find. It seems like you'll get off to a couple good starts in a couple games. You'll go two for four, maybe even get three hits or something. Then 
And then the next, you know, handful of games, he won't do anything, and it'll just be craziness pretty much. But I was able to get two guys on. Granderson off the bench. What a surprise. Gets the base hit. And then Arenado is sending one off his pitcher. And luckily, I was able to make it to first base. That happens way too much as well. Sending something right off the pitcher. So Bautista is in with the bases loaded yet again. I was able to capitalize on the bases loaded in the previous game. And I'm doing the same in this one. Bautista is sending one down the left field line and that is cashing in two. We need to make a comeback. We are coming back in this game is what I was saying. Something needed to be done in that at bat and it was. And Freeman up again sitting on something up in the strike zone. So that is cashing in another run. Too bad Freeman is such an animal and he hits laser beams every single time he comes to the plate because... If it wasn't that hard hit, I possibly could have scored two. And then this call, he's called out. What? Dude. That, he was safe by one million feet, if you ask me right there. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Kind of getting the, the shit end of the stick in these two calls so far. So this guy, yet again, is starting this inning off fairly well again. So I put in the flashback, John Axford. And he usually does all right when he is in, but the performance early on from Axford wasn't too good as well. So he's able to cash in another run from a ground ball to Lindor at second base. So this guy is going back up by three runs. Didn't really feel like, at this point in time, it didn't really feel like this guy was up by three runs. I mean, I think that Matt Holiday three-run shot was just kind of the, the dagger at this point. Didn't really feel like this guy was up three runs. Kind of felt like it was closer than that. Even though a three-run lead isn't too big. 100% it's not too big, but still didn't feel like this guy was up three, only felt like he was up by one at the most. So I was able to get another base hit with Lindor, and then Lofton is off the bench. And every every single thing, it seems people are blocking, and then Lucroy gets something in the dirt. This guy is making a mockery out of it. So he comes up with the block right there, and then Lofton was able to shoot one right to his shortstop. So he's getting out of that inning, wasn't able to cash in Lindor. So he still does have the three-run lead, so I put in Hunter Strickland. I think I had a bunch of my relievers kind of gassed because I did, over the past couple of games, I have been using a good amount of my relievers, so a couple of them were gassed. I think Andrew Miller was gassed, and somebody else was gassed. I think Kelvin Herrera and somebody else, I forget, maybe Carter Capps are the only relievers I have with the, with the full stamina at this point in time, but I didn't really want to use Kelvin Herrera. I find I've been doing very bad with him lately, but... Bradley man just just continuing to do damage at the plate getting yet another base hit I think he's continuing the hit streak as well in this game too after that base hit so he eventually makes it to second base so now Griffey is in unfortunately I wasn't able to cash in that run again so I did do something clutch early in this game with the bases loaded but unfortunately I wasn't really able to uh, do anything else in the middle innings at least I wasn't able to do anything else uh, when somebody was in scoring position or something. So Strickland is still in. Didn't want to really take him out because I think he was uh, coming to the plate in the next inning. So just getting, just trying to get out of this inning with no damage done. Able to get the first two guys fairly quickly. And then his Diamond Dynasty player is coming to the plate in the seventh inning. And yikes. That is kind of a mistaken location. I meant to throw that a little bit higher than it was. And that ended up being right down the middle pretty much. And of course he's going to send that one deep. I feel like some people just, I don't know. I'm not, I don't even know. I'm not even going to say it. But either way, this guy is getting the solo shot on the board. And now he's going up by four runs in this game. And like I was saying earlier, it did not feel like this guy was up by four runs, man. It didn't at all. It honestly felt like this was a one or two run game. But still, four run lead isn't too much of a problem. But now we are in the late innings. And yet again, Lucroy, this guy is an imposter, I swear. So Lucroy is getting another base hit. That's back-to-back -back games now where Lucroy has got multi-hit games. What's going on in the world when this happens? So Brantley, a couple batters later, is flying out right behind second base. He makes that grab with Tulewitzki. So I need to start doing something, man. This is late in this game. It's the bottom of the seventh inning. He still has the four-run lead, so something needs to be done, man. At least need to get one run in in this inning and it, sh it might be all right but that's uh, that's bad that's ugly that's worse than ugly that's just terrible and i'm getting out of that inning no run scored so now kelvin herrera is in because yeah i think he was one of the only relievers i had with good stamina so i wanted to put him in and then troy tulewitzki is again on the board again for this guy with a single right by freeman so he's looking to get some more insurance arenado is off the bench 
Didn't really want to pitch to Arenado since I've been doing all right with Arenado. Maybe this guy was uh, doing the same and, you know, just doing very well with Arenado pretty much. But able to get him to ground out to Arenado, so that ends that inning. So I'm not really sure how I missed that. I'm not really sure how I at least didn't, you know, get a piece of that, foul that one off. I've seen many times where just my opponent or myself, I'd be swinging late. PCI would be at the bottom of the strike zone. The ball would be up by your face. And he would foul it off. But either way, first, first two outs of this inning coming fairly quickly. So Freeman is back up. He's already two for three on the day. A couple singles I'm pretty sure he has. So Freeman is looking to get something else on the board in this game. I think he put in uh, I think he put in K-Rod late in this game. I think it was the, the all-star K-Rod. I think it was around an 82 overall or something. But look at Freeman yet again, man. He is getting more base hits every single game I'm using Freeman. He's just... It's, it's honest to God, man. Every single time he comes to the plate, he hits a missile. He hits a laser beam. He can't be stopped. Tulewitzki, unfortunately, is going down swinging. Wasn't really expecting an inside fastball right there, so he caught me guessing, unfortunately, in that at bat. And then, again, this guy is starting this inning off fairly well. So this guy was getting some... He was getting some production early in innings in this game. I think that was with Granderson again. So now he has two guys in scoring position with Goldie up at the plate. And then look at Lucroy. That's what I'm saying, man. Making a mockery out of that. Making a mockery out of that. So he scores another run. So now he's up by five. <laughs> I'm, man, anyone else, I don't know. It's different for me because I played the full 45-minute game. I, honest to God, didn't feel like this guy was up five runs. Five! I mean, I was swinging a pretty decent bat in this game, too. That's the, I think we both had 11 hits at this point in time in this game, so it's not like this guy was kicking my ass or anything. This guy just got that three-run shot with Holiday, and that was pretty much the dagger, like I said, early on in this game, at least. But he is up by five. I don't know, after that After that first out from Luke Croy, didn't really expect much. Couple batters later, Brantley is in, pass ball, able to advance to second base. But at this point in time, man, it was just kind of, you know, it was just kind of wave the white flag at this point in time. Didn't really expect much out of this out of this inning. Ninth inning rolls around, down by five runs. Can't really expect much. Be one of the one of the craziest comebacks of of me playing this entire game in in my life. If I was able to come back in this game, but Matt Holiday gets player of the game for this guy. Went three for five with that three run shot. Ended up getting four RBIs in the process, so I'm currently one in one in this season, so not too bad, man, but I don't know. This game just felt like it should have been, I'm not saying I should have won this game, not at all. I'm just saying that it should have been closer than a five-run deficit, 100%. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, and I will see everybody in the next video.